Welcome to the Monday, June the 3rd, 2019 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let staff and committee members introduce themselves. Liz Pritchett. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Benjamin Cheney. And unless anybody has anything to offer ahead of time, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So moved. Okay. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. The agenda is approved. We can actually move forward to the first application for Sam Shippey for the canopy signage. If that's you, come yes, forward and have a seat. Yeah. Uh, could you guys the microphones a little bit? I'm Jim Dupre. I'm with uh, Black River Design. And go ahead and describe this is oh, on the awning okay. that was previously approved. Yes. So at the time it was approved, the the logo or the print on the on the front of the canopy wasn't included in the submission. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this really is to just get this in front of you folks. Um, showing what the image would be on the front of the canopy and also their intent to put a couple of small uh, lights on the awning to uh, illuminate the sign. Are those, are, those lights are in the fabric? Sometimes? They're not. Um, if, you, if you look at this section here, uh, there's just a small image that shows it kind of projecting off the see, off yep. the front yep. and then a, the next page in actually shows that fixture does it project off the front front how many inches, 24 inches max. so 24 inches max would be the thought the arm comes in a couple different lengths but Actually labeled one six on the section, but that should be two foot zero. So basically, when it's installed, you can work with it to go from say sixteen to twenty four, whatever seems to work best. I think. This or will it be specifically twenty four? Yeah, this particular fixture has two length arms, so it's either twenty four or twelve. So okay. We, probably start with 12 to see if that could do a good enough job lighting the sign could be a little less pronounced but if uh, the beam needs uh, to stick out a little further to illuminate the whole area uh, then it'd be nice to have that uh, luxury I guess to go to the 24. And what color is the fixture itself? That would be a black. Okay goal to uh, keep it sort of sleek and thin and, and the least obvious as possible. Well, it also doesn't detract from the visibility of the sign either by having a That's right, a the sign color. or canopy. And and this may not be an issue, but I'm just sort of curious, Marita, this feels like a unique way of lighting I don't feel like happens in the city, but off the canopy, sort of projected off the building itself. And whether that I, is fine. The canopy itself is a little unique, I think. So. Yeah, it's true. There really isn't much of a precedent uh, in town for that. Um, a lot of the businesses that have awnings that are sort of retractable, also have a sign band like above, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, so they can mount some pretty good size and kind of light yeah. that up. Um, <coughs> this property doesn't have a sign band above the awnings. Um, I think one good thing is right next door um, is, is the Necky restaurant and there's a few different um, sort of permanent awnings that sort of project out and, and the one that covers the seating um, 
full time has some lights that sort of drape from it, so that might help sort of mm -hmm. blend in with the surroundings, if, if you would. Yeah, it just sort of feels like this thing is a projection, and mm -hmm. yet another projection mm -hmm. put onto it. Feels. Yeah. And that's sort of where you come into play. Yeah. Um, Had any exploration done about a, just a very subtle wall wash light that would wash the wall and show the sign instead of coming out and pointing back at it? No, it you have really two, you have two right, locations right. sticking out here Almost and here. Uh, I was wondering, tucked up under the, I'm assuming, I can't tell from the picture of the awning, I'm not sure if there's like an overhang where the, uh, the the roof of the awning meets the face of it. Right if there's there. an overhang that you could take a small strip there and wash light down. It's like an LED strip. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looking at this section here, it seems like there is no overhang mm -hmm. in the awning. That's right. Yep. Yeah. There's no uh, there's no overhang. Um, I think you know trying for the 12 inch. Projection might be the closest to, to um, kind of doing a wall wash, if you will. Mm -hmm. We've got five foot six from from the wall of the final projections. Well, that and the the light can be angled at different angles, right? It's not set to. Mm -hmm. At one particular angle. That's right. Yeah, it can be rotated. Yeah. Did you explore the idea of having a sign band? Just out of curiosity, or this was just just above this? You know, you know it's um, kind of a historic building, and it was. Under a historic designation, right, right. and so I think um, I don't know the details of that. I don't really know either. But um, considered appropriate or not? Yeah, I don't. I mean, they're not permanent necessarily, but uh, yeah, maybe this sure. is less of an impact. It's hard, hard to know. Right, right. Um, okay. I, mean, I guess I would say anything that can reduce that thing sticking out and get more of a, a wash of light. Right, on, right. Seems preferable to me than okay. continuing with this thing. Okay. Projection. So his, just out of curiosity, has the yeah. state and the Park Service seen this? Did they approve it? That, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I know that... Uh, Sort of the the awnings and canopy uh -huh. got reviewed uh, earlier and approved. So I don't know if that was brought up then or that's right. Oh, okay. That's right. That's right. That's yeah, yeah. It was actually the the, the logo uh -huh. on the front okay. that was missing from uh, sure. earlier discussions. Okay. But well, Ben, we could look at. Uh, a different fixture that might, or we we could try the 12 inch stem if you're okay with that. Um, or we could look at something that kind of hugs the, the canopy um, and, and washes down a little. Uh, so maybe it doesn't even stick out as far as 12 inches? That's right. Yeah. I don't know if this is treading on thin ice, but this is a black canvas with I assume it's white, just kind of painted lettering on it. It's an applied graphic. Um, I guess what I'm getting at is it would be interesting if it could be backlit, like if the lighting was behind it and then it. That'd be kind of neat, wouldn't it, if you could do that? Um, but I, we have a ban against internally mm, illuminated plastic, plastic signs. Mm. We've done some backlit yeah. signs like the bank right. has off lettering yeah. that's off the bank the and there's lighting behind it. Yeah. did that also. 
but I don't know. But I, I feel like that would be it. I don't, you know, like looking at this elevation, these things look kind of, yeah. I think it would, it is a nice graphic. I think it is a nice logo. <coughs> Somehow it could just be. But. I mean, I think the black lights would blend in with the black canopy. That's right. The, I guess the graphic to locate them was to help just kind of identify that they were there, not yeah, necessarily. I understand. Right. But um, they're not, like, in, if they were in this elevation, it would that, be interesting to sort of. It would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because. And I'm assuming that those light fixtures will have to be, to be mounted off of the frame somewhere in here. It looks obviously, like in line with the frame. obviously, that's, it's not going to be held up by the canvas. That's right. What they're going to do is they'll put some uh, horizontal backing members in between the okay. the verticals mm -hmm. um, to uh, allow them to sort of spread the the fixtures w where it's best located, rather okay. than just on the posts. And give them a little, a little more surface area um, mm -hmm. for mounting. I mean, there's what we could do is re either recommend the, the 12 inch to minimize the projection beyond the awning itself, yeah, or to give you the option of a of a black wall wash, flush mount wall wash that you could mount into either of those two locations sure. to wash across the sign if you found something that you liked better as you started holding them up there, holding, holding them up against the awning and looking at them. That's right, that's right. We could certainly uh, see what's available uh, for that type of fixture. These look like four and three quarter inch square plate on the on the arm, like on the base plate that holds the arm. I'm looking at the base plate of the lamp. Yes. Looks to me like it's a four and three quarter inch square plate. Okay. Seems like that's gonna eat up a pretty substantial amount of real estate on that side. So one thing I noticed, Ben, was I think the I think this this graphic here yes. um, was maybe a little earlier uh, that they'd, they'd applied uh, the signage on it before it was um, maybe true to scale. I think I think there's maybe more space. Yeah. So in those dot locations, but those should be blown up to be a, right a, a four and three quarter square. That's right. So we're 14 and a half from the top of the sort of eyebrow to the top of the canopy. Yeah. Um, and I don't know how, what size those circles are, but I think that's a good point. We should, we should lay that out at the right size and the right spacing. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, we're just trying to give the best illumination sure, of the sign, sure, sure. right? And, and make what's illuminating it go away. Yep, um, I, I see that. I so if if there's a, a fixture, you know, that's kind of canopy design to kind of just sort of hug the canopy and, and put some light down, I think mm -hmm. that'd be a perfect solution. Um, Do you know, does it say what the wattage is on each of those fixtures? So that's a good point. Uh, we were noticing that today that we'd highlighted on one of the later pages uh, the 3000K Temperature 8.8 8 watt, which it's, was which is the equivalent of about a 50 or 60 watt. Yeah, the lumens 80, were 81 lumens. It's not was pretty low, yeah. so we were actually hoping to jump up to the 4,000 temperature, which is probably a little more appropriate for the use. Which still, if there was two of them, your your total is maybe 60 watt uh, incandescent equivalent, something like that. 75 watt. Either the 3,000 or 4,000 is okay. 
I mean, they're 8.8 .8 watts, and so basically the equivalent of about somewhere between a 50 and a 60 watt LED. So recommending if they use the projecting lights, that they be a 12 inch? Yeah. And I do like your idea that they could get something more integral. Integral to it. Yeah. It just yeah, kind of sure. Kind of tacked on, but was kind yep. of part of the whole. I think that would be nicer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll definitely look. Killing me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging the next day sometimes. Yeah. So what I said that just based on the feedback that we were getting was that the recommendation is that the maximum length of a projecting arm LED fixture be 12 inches, and then you have the option to mount <coughs> any flush LED fixture fixtures or fixtures at the top of the awning arch to provide a wall wash lighting effect. Okay. Yep. All makes and sense. And again, you guys can play with that to see if it, you know, it's going to do what you want it to do. Okay. Sure. Because sometimes as much as you design, it doesn't come out sometimes <laughs> like <laughs> you well know. Don't we know? That's right. <laughs> okay. I'll go through the criteria. Design review standards, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style if the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure, acceptable. Harmony of exterior design, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, <laughs> none proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, acceptable with the provisions that we outlined. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties, acceptable. Shall not obscure significant architectural details, acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs in CB2 and OP districts, not applicable. Illumination, it's acceptable with the provisions. Pennants and banners, not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly in the building or structure are encouraged. <laughs> sign is acceptable in this location. All in favor of the application proposed, raise your hand. And I'll get you to sign this one above my name on the left hand side there. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So thank you and um, kind of hoping to run something by you uh, while I was here tonight. I don't know if I could. <laughs> So, 
This is an informal review of something? Uh, well, it's kind of a r informal re-review of something. So there was a couple of DRCs ago. Jay was in um, for the back of the Shippy Alvarez building for um, some storage units. Yeah. Yes. And some ground-mounted... Yeah. Um, Compressor stands. Compressors, that's right. And so the uh, river hazard regulations have asked, kind of require, um, that these be elevated about uh, 4.8 feet. Uh, so the goal would be to uh, build racks for them um, to lift them up. And we wanted to see if the DRC had any comments or concerns? So we, you approved. We, they approved we that being lifted. Approved that being you lifted. You did. Up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So what is? Okay. What is the? Okay. We're, good. We're, good. We're hoping that the racks plus the compressors wouldn't ex exceed the height of the storage roofs at, at its height. <clears throat> I'm not sure what it's you know. close uh, okay. because this is a sloped roof. Yes, um, I think the tallest compressor tends to stick above it a little bit, at least from a perspective as you're rounding the mm -hmm. corner. Um, yep. I don't know. Uh, you'll you'll see it above a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, yeah I mean it's. Okay. Does any okay. snow or ice dump on those from the building adjacent? The building adjacent? No, I think the uh, there's a sloped roof, but it's sloped further okay. uh, towards the river before it starts. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a flat roof above it, Steve. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, I wasn't sure after if last been winter agreed some, upon. Mm -hmm. After last winter, a few people have rethought about their either their location or protecting where to <laughs> the put them. Right. Because right. some ice had fell on a couple of them and crushed them pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when they're, you know, using them as heat pumps mm -hmm. <laughs> for the winter. Uh -huh. And, uh, <coughs> And locating them in the, the summer, uh, and the ice dent come, uh, interferes with the operation of some uh, fans inside. Okay, super. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies. We should have our next applicant soon. <laughs> Do you know how long we're going to wait? They, they would be here by six. It's not quite six. We'll review the, we'll go out of order and review yes. Order. yes, review the minutes from 520. And we actually have enough people. Yeah. So I was going to add our special meeting minutes, but we don't have enough people to do that. Any questions, changes on the minutes? No. Nope. So we hear a motion to approve the minutes mm -hmm. of May 20th. So moved. All in favor of the approving the minutes? The minutes are approved. Um, 
just a little note that if any of you can think of anybody who might want to and be willing to be on the development review board, we're looking for two members. So hopefully to beat the bushes. <laughs> two members for the development review board. Yes. Not alternates. Who, who left or did uh, not get Deb Markowitz there. left mm -hmm. and um, Tom Kester had to leave. He moved and she got a job out of state. Well, so, where is she headed? Uh, she is doing... It's an organization called Series out of Boston. Wow. So she'll be still living up here part of the time. Her residence will still be up here, which would be down there, so she can't. She just can't do the schedule. Mm -hmm. But, so we lost two really good people. Yes, yeah. um, you did. Through just circumstances. Um, mm. So both of the, what's left of their terms need to get filled. Well, you can just stay here, you know, once this one's over, you can stay for another hour and a half or two or three beyond. Sounds <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> work my, my Monday schedules. <laughs> I hope they pay you well. <laughs> it works. I earn comp time for anything mm -hmm. over my allotted part-time hours. So. <laughs> That's good. Um, I'm going to go just check my voicemail downstairs. Okay. Because I don't give out my personal self to everybody. Let's just see. What updates. How's traffic into the garage building? Are people coming and going? Or is it fairly quiet back there? I bet. It's fairly really quiet. And that most of the parking for that building is out behind the building. Yeah. So people drive down and turn in back where the... Aha. Uh -huh. Where, where the, just uh, ran away. You can come back. He's here. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we're a little late. That's okay. Come on. You can come up, have a seat. And our staff member went down to check our voicemail to see if you were on your way. So yeah. she'll be right I back. Six of mine was just late by <laughs> five weeks. Yeah, Steve Elias was not well. So he had a doctor's appointment at 4.30. So from Rutland to come here at 4.30. Wow. Not wow. less than six, one hour and a half. Yeah. Sorry, I do have your number. <laughs> you gave it to me. I did. There are certain people who didn't have it. Oh, that's my office number. Well, whichever one. Yeah. Nope, that's, that's perfect. Okay, go ahead and describe your application. One is, paint and one is for painting. So paint will be this one. Mm -hmm. Light will be light. Same color on the existing what we have. Mm -hmm. So this is what Steve told me that we have to get one sample for you. If you want to keep it, you can keep this sample. Oh, okay. Thank you. So it will be just copy the old color to new color. That was, how similar is it to the existing color? Same color. Same color? Same color. So I took the old sample and gave it to Sherman William and mm -hmm. they build on, they have some instrument, you know. They put under that and they get a same color, matching color. Okay. So it's, a so it's from Benjamin Moore? Yes. If you decide to go in that same color, but a shade or two darker, you certainly feel free to do that. Uh, the, the darker the color, the less dirt it shows, yeah. because you're on a street with a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Time. And this uh, road work, which happened in the past, right. has killed us. <laughs> Business-wise, has killed us. Mm -hmm. We lost at least 75 percent of the business. Wow! Yeah. Bikers have not come a single biker this year. Not a single biker. Yeah. Well, we had a very good it's, biker it's business. Still, you know, bikes. It's still winter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, 
I am just talking, comparing to the other places when you yes. see in Ludlow, when you see mm -hmm. somebody going to Hilltop yeah. and not coming to our place. I am comparing that way. Yeah. Okay. So that was the first thing and second thing was lights. Last time we had a proposal for lighting, mm -hmm. which was not good because it was facing towards the road. Mm -hmm. So now the Steve Elias has come up with the proposal, lights facing towards the uh, building. That was the suggestion last time that we should go with the poles and put the lights on this side. But we were running out of time, winter was coming. So we thought, let us start again in next summer. Quick question. Yes. You're showing an exposed pressure treated post. What size is that post? I think it's four by four. Four by four? Yeah. And they are 16 foot high and four feet will go in the ground. So above ground will be 12 feet. It seems unlikely to me that those pressure treated posts are going to stay very straight over time. Yeah. I think they're going to. No. Hilltop has the same one. Uh -huh. And I think almost 10 years have passed. And they're still straight? They're still straight. And are you going to paint the post like a black color to match the fixture? If it is not in this, okay, but uh, we will paint, yeah. Okay, we can give it an option to paint yeah. the post. It we'll doesn't paint show black. the paint. Because its natural color is has a, its own decency, you know, the prestige wood? Yeah. The natural color has its own value. But yeah, if you paint it, it's better. If you paint it black, black tends to disappear. So that you, with, between the black post and the back, black fixture at the top, yeah. what you're gonna see is you'll see right by that to your hotel. Sometimes when you do a color that's different other than black, forward, you notice the post, post and yeah. not what's behind it. It detracts. Your idea, idea it detracts. is we'll put, put it black. I think this time he is planning to bring the Econolo sign in the center because previously there was an old building and there was a sign in between that. Mm -hmm. Now old building is gone. So that sign, as it is, will come in the center mm -hmm. of the property, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And luckily, you know, we have that uh, circle in the center, mm -hmm. in front of the property. Mm -hmm. So we already had that center, so we should use that. Yeah. We thought of using that center point for the Econolos sign. itself isn't changing at all yeah. it's not really a design review issue but um yeah we can we can discuss yeah. that a second okay because that'll be just downstairs yep okay we are more concerned about the parking lights that mm -hmm. is what we fighted we fought for last whole summer you know mm -hmm. without any success Because luckily, you know, we have not got any incident, but if anything happens, mm -hmm. it will be a big mm -hmm. issue, you know, at that point.
So the new lights are going to shine down. Is that what you're saying? When they don't now? Yeah. Uh, last time also they were down, this time also down, but last time we were trying to put the lights on the wall. Mm -hmm. So basically there was complaint from the residents yes. that they will be seeing the light. The light will be like this light will be facing yeah. them. I see across the so now we are planning to put the poles and we are putting the uh, trying to put a light on the poles mm -hmm. so that light will, light will be either facing the road or will be facing our property right not the road yes main road yes okay, i see what you're saying yeah so that is the only difference this time we are trying to do that yeah when you move the sign will there be a, a different base for the sign no. Right now, sign is on a uh, concrete, uh, like just base, concrete mm -hmm. base, and this is a metal uh, sign, mm -hmm. a metal T, mm -hmm. and it rests on the concrete. That's it. But if you move it, if you move the sign from here to here, will you put a new concrete base yes, there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Like we have a circle in the center. Where right now we grow the plants and flowers, we'll create one small square concrete and pick up the uh, sign and put it there. And then the base on the other side will just be taken out? Taken off or we'll leave it like that. We'll put flowers in that. Because that's also a rectangle frame. It can be made a showy, you know, if we put some flowers in that, it can look good mm -hmm. for the property. Is that is that sign currently in the driveway? In other words, if you if you remove that, does that give you better access over here? I think uh, road is next to the sign, so first it will be a road, okay, then a sign, and then our uh, wall of the property. Yeah, if you take out that everything, your road will be wide enough. But okay. still, you have a other part of the property, your own property, which is empty right now. Okay. You can build another road on that property. <laughs> yeah, but if whatever you suggest, if you say take out, we can take out, but we will not leave it like that. We will put some flowering on that so that it looks good. But not the winter. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, I mean, it's, 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 ex it's existing. Whatever, whatever makes your property look cleaner is yeah. only going to be to your benefit. Mm -hmm. So Whether that is why we just uh, right now plan to pull up the sign and put it in the center. Leave it that space as it is for the flowers. Okay, we'll just, we'll give you the option. Okay. Yeah, your idea is okay. If we delete, if we take out that item, we can increase the width of the road. Mm -hmm. Our this entrance can be little it just, it just wider. Plow. Whatever improves the property yeah. and makes it simpler to maintain, whether it's sure. plowing or, yeah. or or whatever. I think you'd be happier to remove it. Yeah. And then that way, that way, with that gone, then it gives you the the driveway here, a clear driveway here. Yeah, it will here. at least give us and five, you, six feet more. And then you have... Because that box is yeah. just three feet, but you still have the space on you, the right. And then you have the two lawn areas here. Yeah. And everything is sort of contained in this area to, as far as the maintenance goes. Yeah. base for the sign yet, could you give them the option of incorporating like a planter into the sign, base of the sign for flowers there? It's fine with me, certainly. I feel like you for can, a landscape, you nice can, to put in seasonal flowers. Well, you, you can either, 
you can either build it as part of the base or you could put your base for the sign in and then just landscape yeah. around the yeah, base. Yeah, give, I'd give them that option. Okay. And then they have the option for some flowers. No, center, center will have flowers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The center round is, I think, yeah. too big. The radius is, yeah. I the think, not like less like than five feet radius. So five so to six feet radius. Are you talking the sign here or the sign here? No, it will be here. Okay, because this one says here. So you're actually saying the sign, sign will be here. here. Okay. Yeah. So again, the existing sign base may either be left in place or totally removed once the sign is relocated. And the new sign base at the new location for the sign may either be constructed as a planter for shrubs flowers or be constructed for a landscaped shrub flower area around the base. Either way, I mean, either way it'll hide much of the base and so it'll give you a sign just with some landscaping yep. around it. Yep. That sound okay? Any other questions, comments, suggestions? Okay, we'll run through the cri criteria. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure. I'll just say not applicable in that area for that building. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, acceptable. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, acceptable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. And again, one of the options Options slash recommendation is the pressure treated four by four light fixture posts may be painted black to match the LED floodlight fixture attached. Yes. All yes. in favor of the application, raise your hand. <laughs> Thank you. And you can sign that one right above my name on the lower left there. Okay, thank you. I can keep this copy? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for thank coming. You for just accommodating me for 30 minutes. No, <laughs> but it did work. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Good you. luck with your project. And unless anybody has anything else, do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved.